Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. These are things that I wish I knew about having a toddler. The first one's gonna sound pretty obvious, but like we're just keeping it 100 here. It's that a toddler and a baby are very different entities. They're completely different things. I was naive and when I heard people talk about their toddlers and how they're like night and day to when their toddler was a baby, I was like, yeah, but like I know my baby and I know my son is so calm and cool and collected and like I'm sure our transition will be just fine. I'm sure he'll be a chill toddler. Okay, well that came back and hit me right in the butt because let me just tell you, my son as a toddler is so different than when my son was a baby. Now, obviously there are certain like little personality quirks that are the same and I can recognize certain things that he does now that he used to do as a baby, but man oh man, just toddlers in and of themselves are like beasts. They're beasts, they're just, it's a different level. It's a different level of parenting, requires a different level of parenting. He is just so active. There is nothing like a toddler running around, you constantly having to run after them. And it's, it's a lot of work. I mean, babies are a lot of work too, but toddlers, it's just a different, you just kind of like take it up a notch. The next thing I wish I would have known is that the toddler's personality is very much so like, a hurricane sharknado it's extremely unpredictable it's the thing of myth and lore and yet you just accept it as it comes it's overwhelming it can be overwhelming especially when your little one is exhibiting traits and exhibiting emotions that they didn't before and this sort of plays to my last point like my son was a pretty mild baby he never really fussed about anything and he didn't like when he was upset he didn't express that anger quite so aggressively as he does now and now that my son's brain is developing now that he is recognizing what he likes and what he doesn't like oh my gosh let me just say like when he doesn't like something or when he wants something and he's not getting it you would think that the sky is falling and i know that's pretty common with toddlers so like mama i'm here for you i can relate but wow i was not expecting that and i think too like i find myself as a mom i'm constantly like vibrating at this higher level because i'm constantly sort of doing damage control in a way and like doing like emotional management with him, just trying to keep him relatively happy and relatively calm, like all the time, especially when we're out, especially when we're out in public. I mean, at home, he'll have his moments. And I do recognize too, and I think that's this, the biggest learning curve for like me as an adult and me as a parent is that like he's going to feel those emotions and they're okay. And I want him to feel those like angry, upset, sad emotions because it's healthy but at the same time trying to manage that and trying to help him work through them especially since he's in that position right now where like he's not old enough to understand why he's feeling that way and how to like properly express himself can be really really challenging this is a funny one your toddler may love something in the morning and then hate it by the afternoon so just be prepared for this like pretty intense emotional thing that your toddler may exhibit i like i'm still trying to understand this my son is 17 months old so like we're in the thick of things right now and he will love something one day and then the next day absolutely hate it or want something terribly one day and be crying over it and completely like, distraught and then the next day like truly want nothing to do with it and it blows my mind because as an irrational human being who doesn't remember being like that as a toddler i'm just like wait what whoa take a step back i'm confused like you just you ate this for dinner you know two nights ago why won't you eat it now and it's really just like part of their growing and learning process and i'm not a doctor i'm not like a psychologist so i don't 
try to break it down. I just take it as it comes and move on. The next one is to keep all sizes of clothing. I just found with my son that when we hit 12 months, he was all of a sudden like had this huge growth spurt at lengthwise and was in 18 month clothing, but there were still some 12 month pieces that fit him. And then when he got closer, when he was like 14 months, all of a sudden, again, he had like a bit of a growth spurt and there were certain pieces that in the 24 month range that fit him, but then there were still some like onesie pieces in 12 month that fit him. It was very confusing and I like figured out pretty quickly that I wasn't going to really make any sense of it. But my tip to you is that, especially like, I know when he was little, he grew out of like three to six months all at once. And then I would move in the six to nine month clothing. And then once he grew out of that, I would move in the nine to 12 month clothing. I found that like with this toddler period, it's not so cut and clean clean cut it, it's not quite as obvious especially with like how different brands make clothing and how sizes can be a little bit off my best advice is at this point just to keep a wide variety and what wide range of clothes that way if your toddler is a little bit bigger one week you have something that fits and the last thing I wish I would have known is that it's okay to buy a bunch of stuff and to feel like you're never really using it um, because everything with toddlers is trial and error. Like you're never gonna know what works for them and what they like until they try it. And I find this especially with food. And that can be really frustrating, right? Because if they try something and they don't like it, then you feel like you've wasted your money. But I bought my son the Happy Tot um, what are they called chickpea straws and for the longest time he didn't like them and luckily they came in like individual serving packs and so I'd open up a pack I'd have him try it he wouldn't like it and this was before his molars came in so I think too like they were just a little bit too hard for him to chew so he wouldn't he'd wanted nothing to do with them today funny enough we were hanging out outside and I had a pack of them in my diaper bag and I pulled them out and I showed them to him and at first he was like no, I don't want anything to do with that. But then I took a bite of it in front of him. He's just at the developmental stage now where anything he sees me eat, he wants. So he saw me take a bite out of them and then he wanted to eat them and he ate the whole pack. So it's things like that where like for the longest time I was buying these chickpea straws and I was like, he doesn't like them. What a waste of money. But now all of a sudden he likes them and I would never know that if I hadn't bought them. So it's tricky and like it's definitely not like the most cost efficient tip, but I have found that like buying more and then being able to like funnel it in has really helped with figuring out what exactly works for him whether it be food or clothes or toys or whatever it is all right guys those are all the things i wish i would have known about having a toddler if you have anything to add to the list please leave it down below i'm still like i said in the middle of this like toddler period so i would love to get like a little bit of warning <laughs> about anything that might be coming up that would be great don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next one bye guys